what's the date? <laughs> I always do this. Oh, hello. It's Saturday, the 6th of January, and today we are ticking off a Disney bucket list item. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Richard Vlogs Disney. My name's Richard, I make Disney vlogs. Obviously, this is Roberta, who is involved in the Disney vlogs. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click subscribe, because if you have clicked on this, you probably love Disney stuff, and I love Disney stuff as well, so follow along. I hate Disney stuff. Yeah, exactly, she only comes along. But anyway, uh, yeah, today we are ticking off a Disney bucket list item. Now, normally I would like surprise it at the end, but obviously it's gonna be in the video description, so you already know what it is. Today, we are checking in to the Polynesian Resort. This is a resort that, personally, I have wanted to stay in for a very, very long time. This trip is for my birthday. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how old that I am. Uh, 50, not 50. Um, so we've thought, why not? Let's go for it. So anyway, right now we're in the Block Hotel at Gatwick Airport. If you've watched our Wish series from last year, you've seen us in this hotel. I'm not gonna do a room tour because there's not really much to the room, and I've done it before, so go back and watch that if you want to see it. Uh, but otherwise, we are ready to go. We're going to go downstairs, we're going to drop our bags, and then we are off. Let's go! If you have stayed in this hotel before, you know one of the things about it is two things. One, it smells great. Like, there's a really nice smell in here. And uh, two, it you can get rooms without windows, so make sure you stump up the extra money to get some natural light in your room, because the rooms without windows are prison like I've got my uh, home alone dad coat on ready for running through the airport you ready to go <laughs> we are already checked in online so this is we're basically just going to drop our bags what we'll do we'll drop our bags uh, we'll go through security and then once we are through security we will catch up a little bit more about what the plan for today is and just a little bit more about what this season as a whole will entail Okay, so we're through security. We've had coffee because if you are a uh, long time viewer of this vlog, you know that every day starts with a Starbucks. Um, we, our gate has been called, so we are walking down to uh, the gate now. Uh, just a little word about the flight. So um, everything that we talk about when we vlog, everything that we do and we tell you what we think about, uh, we obviously pay for. Um, wouldn't ever want to talk to you about something that we hadn't paid the full price for. Um, we are in a lucky position that we don't pay full price for our flights so um, when it comes to the flight really there's not going to be much about it a little bit of footage and that's kind of it so if you are hoping for a flight review I definitely would go back to look at our vlog from February last year because you'll get all of our opinions about it from then but um, in terms of today if you want to stick around this is all about the hotel so I did promise you a little overview of the trip and what we were doing so um, we have a two-week trip uh, I'm not sure exactly how many vlogs that's going to become, so make sure you subscribe so that you get to see all of them. But uh, we have a week at Disney World, uh, two different hotels, so two new room tours coming up, and then we are off on the Disney Fantasy for a Western Caribbean seven night cruise. So lots of cruise content coming up as well. So if that sounds like the kind of thing that you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you're notified because you are gonna wanna see all of this stuff. We uh, have just got through customs and bag um, pickup and everything. Half an hour from landing, literally wheels down, to being through. Uh, if you haven't been to Orlando Terminal C, it is, for arriving especially, the best in America I think I've ever had. Uh, anyway, we're just waiting for a coffee from Starbucks and then we're going to go and pick up our hire car. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor Buddy Diamond. That's when you know you're here. That train just there is the new Brightline train. So that will take you from Orlando Airport all the way down to Miami. Also stops in West Palm Beach and a couple of other places along the way. If you are thinking of going down to Miami, it, I mean, it's probably comparable to flying if you um, take into account that you have to be at an airport X amount of time before, go through security and stuff, which you won't have to do for a train. Um, 
but I, I would imagine it's probably more comfortable and obviously less cramped than flying so um, maybe a good way to get down to Miami if you've never been down there and you're visiting Orlando sometime soon. Obviously by the time this vlog goes up it's going to be like February I guess at the earliest maybe the end of January I can't quite figure out the dates in my head right now um, but so Christmas will be long over but it is nice to see uh, the Orlando Airport Christmas tree because it's a nice Christmas tree it is marathon weekend currently so still a little bit busy around this should be the last busy weekend I fully imagine when we first walk into a Disney park there will be Christmas decorations and then by the end of this week there will be no Christmas decorations so this is our car it's a Volvo C40 I booked specifically an electric car which is what this is it looked really nice so this is the one I picked out it's very nice inside I've already got myself a bottle of Mountain Dew yeah I like it very much five four three two <laughs> That's good. You're, you're good. I like you. I like you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have parked the car so we can go and check in at the Polynesian. I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. Um, obviously you can normally check in uh, online, like through the app, go straight to your room. I specifically didn't do that because how often do you get to walk up to yeah, the check-in desk? Yeah the right. full experience yeah how often do you get to walk up to the check-in desk at the Polynesian and be like I'm checking in so I definitely wanted that experience uh, I don't know if you heard on the video the security guard was like happy but happy 25th birthday to me so I like him he can stay yeah <laughs> um, I still can't believe it. we're checking in here this this is incredible I have wanted to stay at this hotel for I, I don't actually know how long <laughs> actual years actual years and I genuinely never thought that I would I'm still blown away are you ready to get hit in the face with the resort smell <sighs> right let's go check in so I see that Richard, you're celebrating the 16th birthday. Yes, see, that's even <laughs> better than the last yeah. time that I was, I was, yeah, I'll take 16. So much. Hey, anything else we can do for you? No, not right now. Thank right, you so much. You've been fun. incredible. Welcome Thank on. you, David. Thank My pleasure. You. I mean, I've already experienced, like, the moment, I think, of the entire trip, which was the fact that the person that was checking us in knew who I was before I even checked in because he already knew that we were arriving. Incredible service. Anyway, we're gonna go and find our room. And we are in the Rarotonga building, which is just to the right here. So we are in 3809, so we're just gonna make our way down. I, we think we're gonna be on the left side of the building here. So here we are at 3809. Roberta's gonna do the honors. No, just leave it there. Try again. We're gonna act like that was absolutely seamless and we didn't just have to go back to the check-in desk to get cards. Right, we're in. Ooh. Ooh. Richard and Richard, happy birthday. Yeah, me, Richard and Richard. You are not invited. I'll just vacate the premises then. Look at it. Oh, it's great. Happy birthday, Richard and Richard. So good, I'm, it's my birthday twice. It's, I'm so, I can't believe we're staying here. I can't believe we're staying here. Uh, we do have a balcony because we're on the third floor. Let's have a look. So we're looking down, this is a resort view room. There are obviously a few different um, views available. Water views available and theme park views available. And as you can imagine, uh, at Disney, 
the price racks up pretty quick. So I am perfectly happy with a theme park view room. Oh, sorry, I would be very happy with a theme park view room. I'm very happy with a resort view room. Right. Shall we do a Polynesian resort room tour? We will start at the entrance where we have obviously um, wardrobe space, quite a lot of wardrobe space actually. Uh, extra pillows, just drawers down here as well. This one is a pull open. There's a safe here. Decent enough size, you know, laptops, iPads, wallets, you know, stuff like that. Coffee machine, because we're in a deluxe resort, we have the Keurig system. I don't even know how to open it, so I'm not really gonna try. We don't really use it. Ice bucket. Uh, in here we have the like coffee utensils and stuff. As you can see, we're still on the, uh, no, it's not the 50th blend. It's just Joffrey's Walt Disney World Resort blend. Teas, cups, and stuff like that. We also have a fridge here, as you would expect. Nice big TV on the wall. Uh, more drawers than you could ever need. The storage actually is really, really good. More storage under here. This sofa, which I'm assuming is probably also a pull down. It is, so this room, you know, could sleep five. Um, I'm not gonna pull it down because we don't need it. A nice chair with some tables. One bed, two beds. Roberta's pointing at the Amazon Echo. So this is a thing in deluxe resorts. I'll let Roberta play with that. We have this really nice Moana art on the wall. Obviously all of the Polynesian resort rooms recently have had like a Moana redo, re-theme. You also can see in the art on the wall here, we have um, Moana and Maui and then over here, we also have Hey Hey. Do you know what? Like, I think a lot of people were worried about the um, re-theme when it happened, but it's, it's, okay. I was, I was gonna say it's not in your face. Obviously that's kind of in your face. It's subtle enough and it works, right? I think it works. I, I, I really like it. And that was part of why I really wanted to stay here because I'd seen these rooms. And I was like, I wanna stay in those rooms. Um, the old rooms, obviously at the Polynesian, they are iconic. Um, I do kind of miss the um, pillows on the bed, like the old Polynesian pillows. They like, like those like iconic yellow Aloha pillows. But um, I think this is this is good. Of the re-themes in the deluxe resorts that I've seen, so this, the Incredibles rooms at the Contemporary, and you kind of saw in my facial reaction then, these are the best ones. I know there's the Mary Poppins stuff going on over at the Grand Flow. That also looks really nice actually kind of like subtle um i think though in terms of like the resort's overall theme what this is it's really good anyway moving on into the bathroom we have um double sink vanity obviously with of the disney um h2o stuff um obviously there was rumors a little while ago i might as well talk to you in the mirror that they were going to get rid of the h2o stuff that that was going to be like um discontinued um, recently, Disney bought the formula from H2O after they decided to, I don't know if they went bust, they just shut down. Um, Disney recently bought the formula, so we have sea salt related stuff, you know, for good so far. So very happy about that, but that is there. We then have the shower um, with the, I was gonna say with the shower, obviously with the shower, well done Richard. Um, the Disney body wash there. See, that doesn't say H2O on it. I don't know if it's just got a sticker over it, but that might be what they are doing. And then toilet, a lot of towels, nice towels, uh, nice art there. I like that the toilet and the shower are separate, like that they're in separate rooms. That's generally not the case in Disney resorts. Um, in terms of, I realize I wasn't pointing at the mirror. <laughs> in terms of Disney resort bathrooms, I think the deluxe resorts are like a step up from the others. I really, really like this. And then even though we have been out here already, I'll just show it again. Um, I don't know if there's a light out here, but there is a couple of chairs and a table out onto the balcony. And yeah, I think this will be nice in the evenings. It also does have the raised beds, get my hand in shot, so that you can fit your suitcases under there, which is a kind of a staple now in any Disney resort that's had a, a refurb, and I don't think there are any that haven't. We have the um, this like footstool slash bench at the end of the beds. 
So I wanted to come back to the Alexa because it's obviously something that we haven't really seen in a room before because we don't tend to stay in deluxe resorts. <laughs> they basically take the place of an alarm clock and you can ask this to set an alarm for you and you can basically use it like you would a, an Alexa at home. I could even ask it what time parks open so we could go, hey Disney, what time is Magic Kingdom open today? And then it brings up the um, brings up the park times. You can also just use it as almost like an in-room radio. Hey Disney, let's hear some music. And then it will play some Disney Resorts radio, which is good because they seem to have taken away the um, Walt Disney World Today channel and replaced it with more resort-specific channels. So having a way to put some sort of music on in the morning, it's good. I mean, I could have just read the instructions for what the Amazon Echo does, but you can see here there's a whole bunch of different things. Some bedtime stories, soundscapes, uh, trivia. But yeah, that's some of the things that uh, the Echo can do. The other thing I'm noticing is USB ports everywhere. There's loads of them. There's some on the vanity under the TV as well. I think it goes without saying that it is the nicest Disney Resort hotel room we have ever stayed in. Um, it's gone obviously straight to the top of the rankings of my resort rooms that I've ever stayed in. I think it's a beautiful room. I think the resort obviously is iconic. Um, bucket list item. Check. We have deposited our bags in our room. And now we're off to have a little explore. It's about 35 minutes till the fireworks, so we're going to sit and watch uh, Happily Ever After uh, on the um, beach, which is a main reason that I've always wanted to stay here. We have come down to have a browse of Boutique. If you are a, you know, a previous viewer of the channel, you know that we have a rule here at Richard Vlogs Disney is that you can't buy merch for a resort that you haven't stayed in. Um, and the reason for that, the reason I think like that is because for me, merchandise is memories. There's reasons I buy it normally and I wouldn't want a memory of a place I hadn't stayed. So I am excited to be able to walk around here and actually be able to buy stuff. Obviously I was always able to buy stuff if I wanted it, but I didn't want it. It wasn't why I was here. Anyway, my rambling is weird. Let's have a look at what they've got. So this is the Polynesian Village Resort merchandise. So we start with the bathrobe. Um, that's uh, 99.99. It is insanely soft. It has the Polynesian Village Resort logo on the front with the uh, tiki. Um, we also have this, which I quite like. This um, just sort of sweater it says Aloha on the back. Polynesian Village Resort on the front, and then we have um, t-shirts with the Dole Whip because this is the only resort that you can get Dole Whip in the resort. We have uh, magnets, and then a cup down here as well. And then we have, this is kind of cute. I wouldn't get it, but I think it's kind of cute. These are salt and pepper shakers, which they're just cute. I like that a lot. And then this, I am not sure. Oh, is a mug. It says Polynesian Village Resort on the front. And then we have some like Hawaiian shirts with, um, this is like Trader Sam stuff, which is the bar uh, in the Polynesian Resort. So we've got a Trader Sam's Grog Grotto t-shirt, um, a dress with that pattern as the same pattern as the shirt, uh, another t-shirt here. We have these like baskets, there's like a little bag. Can't really see on camera, there we go Richard, that's like a little bag. Um, so that's like Trader Sam stuff. That's like the Polynesian Resort stuff. We also have, um, I mean, I think these are Moana ears, but they're Polynesian Resort ears. And then there's, of course, a lot of Moana merchandise in here as well. So T-shirts, cropped hoodies, more T-shirts. Roberta's got the other set of Polynesian Resort ears on. So that's got the tiki and the flowers. Those are very cool. And then the resort name and logo on the back. This is defi a definite purchase, is a new Polynesian Village Resort pin. You can also get a limited amount of uh, Ulani merch here. So this is Olu, um, who is in a lot of their 
merchandise. He is a friend of Duffy. But there's a lot of stuff here for him. So that is a selection of the merchandise that's available in Boutique. Uh, I'm going to go back for some of that a little bit later, but we're just popping into Captain Cook's now. That's the quick service here at the Polynesian uh, to grab our resort mugs and fill those up before we go and find a spot for the fireworks. We have got our resort mugs. We also have some food on the way. Um, the resort mugs are good for 14 days. It says length of stay, but length of stay means 14 nights, basically. So even if you're staying for three nights, it will still work for 14 nights. So, you know, if you, let's say you're like staying on property for a few nights and off property for a few nights, if you buy the mug and go to a resort hotel when you're off property, it will still continue to work. These will work until the 20th of January. Um, so, you know, 14 nights is, is what you get. Uh, the $21 plus tax, um, and if you plan on buying, you know, more than a couple of drinks when you're at your resort, they they pay for themselves. If you have followed me on Instagram for a while, I'll put the handle somewhere on the screen, um, you will know that last year I spent a lot of time in Orlando for non-Disney related reasons. Um, not really any reasons worth going to on here, but while I was in town, I, I, I couldn't go to Disney really, but it, I really wanted to do Disney-ish things, at least do something while I was here. So what I would do is a couple of times on each trip I had to take, I would come and watch the fireworks from the beach of the Polynesian. And that was really when it solidified in my mind of I really, really do want to stay here. So we're gonna go and watch the fireworks now from the beach at the Polynesian. And this is just the moment for me that I've been like thinking about kind of since I booked this trip is this is why I'm here. This is the moment that made me think about staying here. I'm still kind of shaking internally a little bit. on the beach and then just be able to walk to the room this is why I wanted to stay here anyway yeah that was a great day um, and it is the first day of a whole new trip so I think for like the thank you for that <laughs> um, I think this will be about the third time I've said it but please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and get notifications and everything because it is the first episode of um, a bunch of new vlogs that will be coming out and there's so much more to share and I can't wait to share it all with you so make sure you are subscribed if you have enjoyed this video do like it obviously because that helps us out a lot leave a comment say hello it's always nice to talk to people about Disney in the in the YouTube comments so make sure you do that as well um, otherwise I think we've hit the wall so for now we're going to go to sleep. We will see you in the next one. Bye.